Now to the local weatherman. As we continue to mark the 200th anniversary of the city of Jacksonville, we're looking back at another significant event in our city's history, Hurricane Dora. It is the only recorded storm to ever directly hit Northeast Florida. Jennifer Wall sat down with legendary meteorologist George Winterling, who was the only meteorologist to forecast that Dora would hit our area. Jen? So George is so incredible, Tark and Joy. It was early in the morning of September 10th, 1964. George had only been working for our station for two years. The storm formed off the coast of Africa and in less than two weeks beelined its way to Northeast Florida. Now in his own words, George explains how he knew Dora was more of a threat than any other meteorologist realized. In the 1960s, meteorologist George Winterling used markers to draw his forecast when he first started working at Channel 4 and paint to help our TV audience visualize cloudy skies. He relied on teletypes from the National Weather Bureau and weather equipment that you describe now as, well, pretty rudimentary at best. Even still, in 1964, it was the basics that helped him forecast Hurricane Dora's direct hit near St. Augustine. I had the barometer there. In fact, I had the weather instruments in the studio, and I could see the wind's direction, and I watched the wind was from the northeast. I knew the storm would be south of Jacksonville. Well, the trouble is, the Weather Bureau back then kept saying, don't listen to anybody else's report on the hurricane. And I got a phone call from somebody from the Naval Air Station, and they said I was correct. I said it was not down where the Weather Bureau said it bypassed St. Augustine. They had forecasted that it was gonna come up toward the Carolinas and, and miss Northeast Florida. Mm -hmm. What made you, how did you know well, I that the old, that wasn't going to happen? I did the old school. The only way you can tell what the hurricane is steering it is the barometric pressure. And every time I tapped it, it would go down a little bit lower and a little bit lower. It got down to 29.06, and that's when the hurricane was the closest to us, and that was at St. Augustine. Hurricane Dora roared ashore at Category 2 strength, packing winds of 110 miles per hour. A 10-foot storm surge pummeled Atlantic Beach and south along our coast. Three homes were swept away, nearly 4,000 others were damaged. More than 150,000 Duval County homes and businesses lost power for days. Inland, nearly 24 inches of rain fell near Mayo Clinic in just 24 hours. The St. John's River swelled to six feet above normal high tide, swamping downtown in Ortega. In St. John's County, 14 homes were destroyed by erosion. Floodwaters were described as hip deep in some parts of St. Augustine. President Lyndon B. Johnson toured Northeast Florida on September 11, 1964, pledging more than $8 million in federal disaster assistance. This is Live Oak 1964. We know what that storm was. That was Dora. Dora's torrential rains. I think they had about 20 something inches of rain. Oh my goodness. Some 58 years later, George Winterling still remembers it as if it was yesterday and the work he did to warn as many viewers and listeners as possible. Do you think back at how you very likely saved maybe people's property and? I think they realized I was taking it seriously that the things could start falling on your house or yourself. That was just the beginning of George's dedication to our viewers. He went on to spend nearly 50 years serving as Channel 4's chief meteorologist. Jen, George, he looks like he's doing well. You know what he is. George retired about 13 years ago, as you know, from the station. He still watches the news every day and just marvels at the high-tech equipment that, that John and Richard and, and Mark and Danielle use absolutely every single day to forecast storms oh, and hurricanes. I he's imagine. like, I wish I had that <laughs> back so then. He's so jealous, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm just curious, how, how old is George now? He is 90 years old. And you know what? 
looks fantastic. He's 90, good, huh? right? So he moved to Jacksonville in 1941, and he just has these great stories about growing up here. So I want to really encourage our viewers to watch tomorrow morning because George is going to take us back in time. His fondest memories of parts of Jacksonville as we prepare to celebrate our city's bicentennial. So look for that story at 740 tomorrow morning. And if you haven't seen the documentary that WJXT has done on Hurricane Dora, it is fascinating. So many interesting stories and insight from George. You can watch Dora Direct Hit On Demand by going to the News for Jax Plus app on your Roku, Fire Stick, Apple TV, or Smart TV. Look for the WJXT Originals channel inside the app and look for Dora Direct Hit. What a privilege and honor, can I just say, to have worked with George in the mid-90s. It was so amazing just to, to be in the same room as he was. Yeah. He's a legend. Absolutely. I was about to say the same thing. I came in 2009. He had left uh, before then, but legendary. I mean, everybody knew his name. And you think of, of all the years of service that uh, to, to the people of Jacksonville. Yeah. John. Yeah, and for myself, I came here in 92, and in 93, we had this thing called the Storm of the Century. It was March, and George and I were inside the station in that corner there, and the winds are 75 miles an hour. They had to cancel the Gate River Run. Sam Kavorvis is up there on the top of the Art Bridge getting blown about. 50, 60, 70 mile an hour winds, and even some snow being reported across parts of North Florida. So that was one crazy event, and I was lucky enough to be there with George for that. It was really quite impressive. We love you, George, and we're glad you're kicking it and uh, still bringing us back those memories of Dora, which was really important tale for all of us because mm -hmm. history may repeat one day. We may get a direct hit again. And, and now look at all these cool toys you have. I know, I know 4D I radar. <laughs> George is at home like, what? Do you have 4D <laughs> radar? Yeah, he keeps bringing it up because there was another legendary meteorologist back on the West Coast, and he did a lot with his radar. And, uh, you know, we keep trying to tweak it and make it a little bit better. You know, Executor Act 40 picks up tornadoes faster than anything that I've ever seen. And it's uh, a real warning for everybody to be alert and yeah. make sure we can stay ahead of the game here at Channel 4 for you guys to stay safe. And that's the critical part.